<laughs> YouTube, we're back in business. What's up, baby? I've been doing some testing, and I think what I have for you guys today is without a doubt the best field upgrade and perk combo you can take into Outbreak or even into High Rounds. Now, this is going to work best just playing Outbreak overall. I think this is the best setup you can take in, and I'm going to show you guys why. So firstly, we're going to be looking at Frenzied Guard Tier 5, the new field upgrade that we got with Season 2. Tiers 1 through 3's activation repairs your armor to full. Enemies you kill repair 10% of your armor, and then on Tier 3, normal enemies explode after hitting you when you have armor. Now, the reason this thing is so good is it's like a defensive ring of fire, and it tiers 4 and 5 you increase your duration to 15 seconds and then at tier 5 normal enemies are slowed to walk speed while active so you guys know if you have a hard time getting into high rounds things like that causing all the normal zombies to slow down at walk speed rather than being super sprinters at high rounds and then in outbreak while you guys are doing things like escorts holdouts or where you retrieve the canisters and return them to the rocket this is going to make it so the super sprinters at higher rounds slow down and in that period of time you guys are going to have extra time to kill the boss and special zombies not having to worry about the amount of normal zombies now i'm going to show you guys some gameplay of that but pairing this with at least tier two of speed cola where your field upgrades recharge 20 percent faster when you have this perk and you have the field upgrade frenzy guard which requires 60 kills in order to return to maximum and complete the full charge up taking away 20% from those 60 kills you only need 48 kills 12 kills less to have a full frenzy guard up again so I'm gonna play some D machina to show you guys at somewhat of a higher round how useful this can be and then also an outbreak how much easier it makes my objectives while I'm going for high rounds there as well if this video helps you guys out leave a like drop a comment below sub if you haven't we're almost at 55,000 subs in just three months of being on YouTube which is crazy so thank you guys also I'm gonna show you guys something kind of cool okay I'm gonna be taking in the m79 the grenade launcher now, this is going to be weird. You guys are going to be like, what the heck, Zach? What are you doing? Why are you torturing yourself? Pairing an explosive weapon with Frenzy Guard, as long as you have the tier where you get armor back for the uh, kills that you get, pretty much gives you PhD Flopper. And it's super fun. And I wanted to show you guys just a little bit of gameplay of that. So I'm going to play into a higher round here, and then we'll jump back in once I'm there. Not waste any time. Get you guys the good stuff. So we're going to grab our machine part here, and then I'm going to immediately get Speed Cola, just so we can start working to get our Frenzy Guard back as fast as possible because remember you guys get a 20 percent knock off from the original amount when you're using speed cold all right so it's round 10 i'm just going to train up some zombies here just to show you guys what i'm going to say so as you can see i have one bar left on my armor down there now when i press my frenzied guard that's going to regenerate to full and then every time a zombie hits us it's going to explode but we will take damage to our armor but if you remember every kill that we get we get 10 percent of our armor you know refilled pairing that using it with an explosive weapon is super fun because it feels just like phd flopper so i'm going to show you guys and activate it here all the zombies are going to start walking and then every zombie that hits us we're going to take damage to our armor and they're also going to just get one shot so as you can see back here right i'm going to take no damage with this absolutely no damage so if you have an explosive weapon it's super fun it's just like having phd so again pairing explosive weapons or the ray gun on a high round strat with this with frenzied guard tier 5 is super broken it's like having 15 seconds of ether shroud mixed with a mobile ring of fire because right with ring of fire when you use it you have to stay inside the zone so you're not getting the damage buff that ring of fire gives you but you're more or less getting it in a defensive way if that makes any sense so just one more time to show you guys and I'm going to do something a little bit different here in this round. Some of the zombies are starting to run a little bit already, but I want you guys to pretend like we're on round 50, right? Like the zombies are super fast. I've bought the shotgun off the plane and then I've put dead wire tier five on it. Okay. So now no matter what round we're on, if the zombies are all sprinting at us, we can use this, get our full armor back and then just spend our time only killing the bosses. Just like an outbreak or a normal zombies mode because all the zombies are going to be at walking speed again and then you can pretty much again just you know just clear the wave clear the wave as is get through them right on top of them you have 15 seconds now i can make a separate video on this because this is how you could take any weapon absolutely anything to round 100 but i have a first tier pack of punched deadwire tier 5 spas 12 gallo sorry <laughs> so i could virtually have anything right now and with tier 5 deadwire you get up to 20 kills with your deadwire proc, right? As long as you can get it to, you know, hit the most amount of zombies as possible, which I'll uh, do right now. 
We're gonna get a ton of kills back, right? That's almost, no it is. It's more than half of our frenzied guard there just from one dead wire proc. So again, let's say this is round 100, right? Like it could be any round. All I'm gonna do is train the zombies back up in a circle, use my dead wire one more time, and then I will have the entirety of my field upgrade in like two seconds. So it doesn't matter how weak your normal gun gets, it doesn't matter if you're using, you know, a shovel or a sniper or a shotgun, it doesn't matter. Now again, I think Deadwire is the best way to go into higher rounds with anything, but just to show you how good Frenzied Guard is, I'm going to take it off um, and get myself stuck in a corner here and just show you guys how easy it is to never die. Literally, you're, you have God Mode. It's God Mode for 15 seconds. I mean, all my zombies are running at this point, right? I'm gonna get myself trapped up in a corner they're all gonna start walking, right? Let's just say I, I start taking all the damage. You guys have 15 seconds, okay? So, I mean, again, it's, I mean, you can get yourself out of a corner. You're, you're straight back to training. And then let's say I still had dead wire. All I have to do to get my frenzied guard back is just train these zombies back up, get 20 kills with each dead wire proc. And after two times, I have frenzied guard again. Something cool, if you guys didn't know as well, with speed cola, with it a higher tier, when you guys hit the box, it will actually settle a lot faster. So if you watch how fast you guys can hit the box, just over and over, right? It's like literally like two times the speed, three times the speed, it's crazy. So if you guys are trying to get a wonder weapon and you just wanna fly through your points or something like that, um, having, you know, a higher tier of speed cola is super beneficial. It's very cool. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Got the ray gun. Now I can finally show you the strategy with a wonder weapon. So again, here I'm going to train up all the zombies. I have a megaton as well, okay? Then I'm going to place myself in a corner and show you guys that even with the ray gun, just like the explosive weapon, it's like PHD flopper, I take no damage while shooting at my feet. So I think this is the best we're going to get them all. I'm going to try and get them a little bit tighter here. We use this, right? The zombies are gonna hit us. We're gonna take damage with our armor, but then we can shoot our shoot the ground with the ray gun as much and as often as we want, and it's gonna have no impact on us because we're immune. Like I said, with dead wire, okay, I have a knife here that's not pack a punched. I have dead wire on it, so we're just gonna say, right? Oh, I have no frenzy guard. So, like I just told you guys, we're gonna knife one zombie. It's gonna kill the entire wave. Train all of our zombies back up like we've been doing and again remember it doesn't matter what round we're on when we do this Because once we activate frenzy guard they all slow down to a walking speed So it's you could be playing around 100 and have it feel like it's round 5 I still only have my one initial plate of armor that I picked up But having more armor the better obviously and we're just gonna rinse and repeat this until we're done Right until we get to as high of a round as we want or I mean this is just by far the fastest way to do it If you're someone who doesn't want to do a strategy like I'm doing right now, right? like at the top of penthouse, then the best way for you to do it is to do exactly what I'm saying and just train. Use your dead wire on a weapon, get a wonder weapon or an explosive weapon or something like that, and then you guys can just shoot at the ground. I mean, it's that easy, right? Like again, I'll try and train him up right here. There we have him, we're stuck in our corner. We're gonna use frenzied guard. So we stop taking damage just to our armor and then we can shoot the ground. We don't take any damage with the ray gun at all. I mean, again, just to reiterate how strong this can be, okay? I'm gonna use my frenzied guard and then I'm even gonna pull out, okay, I'm gonna pull out my grenade launcher, right? You can just even bop this thing at the ground, right? You don't take damage from anyone that's hitting you, you're chilling, like you are just, it's god mode, it really is. Now we have our frenzied guard and we do have a retrieve on our first level, so I'm gonna show you guys a good example of what I was talking about when it comes to higher round outbreak and struggling with things like holdouts, you know, escorts or retrieves like I'm doing right now. So for example, right, we're gonna head over to B. It's gonna spawn a lot of zombies over here and I'm at round one. So anyone who's played Outbreak knows, you know, the higher you get, the more progressively hard it gets. Now what you guys could do, right, is retrieve this. You're gonna get your one explosion that you have from the canister. We're moving as much as we can. Let's say it's a higher round. We're gonna drop our canister, use this, okay? We can then pick it back up. The zombies can't kill us. They're just hitting us, taking damage and they will be at walking speed. So. Once we get into the area where we deposit it, if we can get it over there, we'll be able to deposit it for free. Like zombies aren't gonna be able to touch you at all. Right, like right now we could be loading it while we're in our frenzied guard. The zombie that would hit us would then explode. Jumping into our next area here, we're gonna have escort. So I'm gonna try and show you guys one more time what I mean. I'm gonna grab our speed cola here just so we can earn our frenzy guard faster this round. We're also gonna come and get our dead wire tier five. Cause remember just two procs of that after we have speed cola lets us fill up our entire bar 
of our field upgrade. And that's going to work with any field upgrade, not just Frenzy Guard. Frenzy Guard has one of the highest kill counters in order to, to get the field upgrade itself. So don't worry about it. If you're using other field upgrades, it'll be just as fast, if not faster. I could make like a more specific video on just how to pretty much go into higher rounds with the setup that I'm using. If you guys want to see that, you can let me know in the comments. But just thought I'd go over it as in-depth as I think it needs. There's really not much more to it, so... I'm going to catch you. I'm going to catch you. Oh, shit. You take damage. Oh, my gosh. I almost went down. Right. So if I have frenzied guard and I'm heading into the end of my escort, right, or let's say it's a very high round and I'm just struggling to keep it moving, you're going to have a ton of them spawn in. So we could just pop our frenzied guard. They're just going to walk. All they're going to do is keep walking and we could just walk it in. We can ignore exactly what's going on because outbreak is very objective based, right? It's not based off your kills or getting through rounds through eliminations. It's objective based. So Frenzy Guard is just money. So yeah, again, I really hope that can make you guys feel confident going into higher rounds or higher rounds on Outbreak. I've been trying some things just because Ring of Fire isn't working in Outbreak because zombies spawn all over the place. I don't want to have to camp in one location, right? So having Frenzy Guard, pairing it with Speed Cola so you can get it down to just 48 kills is awesome. And again, whether it's Holdout, Retrieves, or Escorts and Outbreak, or really any of them, you know, where you're defending the head, any of the other objectives, Frenzy Guard is just the best way to go. Like, it really is. So again, I hope this helps you guys out. Drop me a like. If you think you're going to try it out and use it yourself, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Much more Zombies content coming. We have the crossbow, the new sniper, kind of mid-season update coming up here soon. We also just had the next Call of Duty announced, which is going to be another World War II game. So hopefully some more Zombies next year as well. The new map on Warzone is any day now. So lots more coming. Sub to stick around. Thank you guys so much. Have a kick-ass day if you're just starting it. Sleep well if you're just ending it. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.